So, I'm going to do a video on what's in this building. So, this is what I've done today. Spray painted some blocks. And then this chair was falling apart and rusting and I couldn't decide on... I was wanting to do a yellow. I didn't have enough yellow to do it. So, I just decided to put all the colors on there. So, I have yellow and blue and red and purple on this chair to go with all my other blocks up there but I want to show you my sewing building I haven't done a tour of my sewing building in forever it is messy but you guys always see my sewing building in my vid videos, but you never know what's in here. And that's what this is, is my sewing building. So we'll turn on the light. I have my son's handprints, my nephew and my niece's handprints on this wall. Some, well, I did not make this, so that does not count, but every... This other stuff I've made. My husband put a rope up. It goes from that corner to all the way over here and to there. So, this is my sewing building. And can you see the wall? That back wall um, is an old pilots, and we took them and busted them, tore them apart, and sanded them down, and then I had my niece, and my nephew, and my son, We and it goes from the top all the way down to the bottom, but I had my niece, my nephew, and my son, we went to Walmart, and we picked out paint, I told them they can pick out any color they wanted, and... I have red, yellow, blue, green, pink, purple, orange. There's some neon colors. Like that orange is really popping out right here. Um, and then I have this shelf that we found. I think it came from my mom. We painted it blue. Um, I have fabric projects and stuff in the totes. Quilts that need to be done on top, hanging up there. My husband's, my mother-in-law's, my sister's is hanging on that white rack. Just so you know, Mindy. Um, a couple things to point out. I'm a big Elvis fan. Uh, my brother got me the little red Elvis bear a long time ago. The little teddy bear right here. My grandmother gave it to me. This box here, now if anybody sews, you know you cut your salvage. Some people use it, some people don't. I put all my salvage edges in this Ninja Turtle lunchbox thing. And before I was doing the garden myself, I would take that and save it for my mother-in-law so she can tie up her tomatoes and whatever she needed tied up. Um, the frogs... I don't really like frogs. I am scared of frogs, but my family seems to think it's a wonderful, funny joke. However, I do love gnomes. The gnome up here. Um, his name is Hunter, considering he says gone hunting. Um, more Elvis decor. I have buttons, more frogs. My nephew painted this little uh, piggy bank frog for me. Um, I, I went to Big Lots and bought these shelves. Russ and I made a shelf. And then I have a few Bible verses. Let go and let God work on me. I have to say that to myself a lot. And I repeat myself a lot in that, in that little saying. Um, we painted the pegboard. Uh, husband put that up and then um, with this little metal shelf I have actually two outside one ha is on the porch and one is in the main in the front but this one I believe was my grandmother's and 
red is my favorite color so I decided to spray paint that red and use it in here this is actually where my desk is I have a laptop that I hook up to my embroidery machine and do different types of embroidery with that um, and then my prayer chair which is also my desk chair and then this ironing board we spray painted it red as well and we cut the legs of it off to hang it on the wall so I can use it to put you know threads and stuff in it this actually came from my best friend um, Shay I've mentioned her before her mother had passed away and she asked if I would want the the iron board and I was happy to receive it I wanted to make very good use of it I did not have room for an actual ironing board in here and I really wanted it in here um, Shay's mother uh, I've called I called her mother she meant a lot to me I uh, didn't know her very long but she was a very inspirational godly woman but however I do have a small ironing board right there so I just wanted to give an update um, I want to do another video and in case you guys were wondering this is where I do all my sewing um, I make quilts, prayer pillows, Christmas stockings um, this is Dixie's quilt I've never done triangles before so I am working on this quilt for Dixie however I gotta sew this last row on um, I am just a moody sewer I guess you could say there's not much in here um, I can't really show you any of my embroidery things it's I don't think I have anything I think everything's in that bottom tote I do sell things well here's some embroidery uh, this is a 10 minute block and I put love around I'm probably gonna turn this into a pillow so I can take it in the house and then um, when I first got my embroidery machine there was people um, Texas was having a hard time with flooding and stuff and my aunt actually lives in Texas where all that was happening so that is going to go to her as soon as I leave in July I still have to turn it into a pillow but um, my very first embroidery thing I actually gave it to my Aunt Martha which my uncle Marty let me have her sewing machine and I'm very blessed and thankful for that so and a little pot holder Thing. This was a block my sister-in-law was teaching me how to do a remembrance quilt. All that is out of clothes. She's the one that taught me how to do stuff. Her and my friend Trina, which is actually my niece through my husband. And Russ set me up an air conditioner in here and it just kicked on. But that's, this is my, my happy place. I started off sewing when I first moved out here and now I'm merging into doing a garden and things like that. I'm not a pro by no means. There's a lot of things I still don't know, a lot of things I still have to learn. But I do enjoy what I do. Whether I sell a prayer pillow or I give one away or I make a quilt for the dog or I just, there's a lot of me and God in here so I'm really thankful for this building that my husband got me um, he put insulation in and we put the walls up and he did the electric uh, this floor is actually repurposed flooring that uh, came all the way from Houston, Texas from my Aunt Brenda and she gave me the uh, she has enough floor here I still have plenty left over but that's where this flooring came from and it's I mean it works really great in here so well that's just what I wanted to show you and let's go on out of the sewing building <laughs>
This is a little fun fact about me and what this building is for. So there's my sewing building and the garden isn't what I really want it to be right now. However, one of these days it will get there. Just have to have patience and trust God's way. But I'm really thrilled about how that chair turned out. The whole thing is just like a little spray paint here, a little spray there. See like right here, I just let it speckle through. Just I can't decide on the color, so I chose all the colors. Thanks to my kids. Well, my son and my niece and nephew, they've helped me pick out colors. The pink and the purple, of course, Natalie. The boys both love orange. And then the blue and the yellow and the red are just, you know, colors that I like. So, little Miss Sassy Pants over here has been chasing mother-in-law's cat. Goodbye. God bless. Like and subscribe to our channel.